Good morning, Zhao Shang Hao. Welcome to my Chinese language class at Discovery Chinese Cultural Center. And my name is Faith. And as always, you can call me Faith Lao Shi. In our today's class, we are going to be asking ourselves, where do you come from? And you'll be able to answer, I come from, which work do you do? I do this work. And where do I work? I work in this place. So those are the things we are going to learn today. In Chinese, when we are to be able to answer rather those questions, we need two very important words. The first word is zai. Now the word zai means in, on, or at. And then we need another important word, nar. The word nar means where. So we combine the two words zai nar to mean at where or in where. And so we are going to use these two words to build in our speaking. Now, I want you to think about this. I have a cat, xiao mao. And so I want to ask you, where is this cat? Xiao mao zai nar. Xiao mao zai nar. And look, the cat is under the chair. Now, what do we call chair? Yi zi. So, if I want to say the cat is under the chair, I'll say, Xiao mao zai nar. Xiao mao zai. Yi zi xia mian. Under. Xia mian. Okay? And I'm going to be teaching you those directional words. So, Xiao mao zai nar. Xiao mao zai yi zi xia mian. How about the dog? Do you remember the dog? Xiao gou. Gou is a dog. Xiao gou zai nar. And now the dog is outside the house. So, Xiao gou zai nar. Xiao gou zai jia wai mian. Ah, jia is the home. So, wai mian, jia wai mian. So, xiao gou zai nar. Xiao gou zai jia wai mian. Now, let's look a little at some of those directional words. Now, if I want to say on top of, for example, on top of the table, on top of the desk, on top of something or up, we say shang mian. Shang mian. Shang mian. It means on top of. Then if we want to say under or down, we say xia mian, xia mian. And oftenly in spoken Chinese, we can omit the word mian and just simply say shang or xia. So shang is on top of, xia is below or down. If I want to say outside, I will say wai mian, wai mian, or simply say why. If I want to say inside, I will say li mian, li mian, or simply say li. Are we together there? So remember, xiao mao zai nar, xiao mao zai yi zi xia mian. How about the dog? Xiao gou zai nar, xiao gou zai jia wai mian, outside the house. All right, now let's again now look at that word zai nar by asking, where is this person? Now let's think about the doctor. How do we call doctor? Yi shang, yi shang. So I ask you, yi shang zai nar, where is the doctor? Yi shang zai yi yuan. Huh? Yi yuan is the hospital. And if you are in Kenya, we have one good hospital, Nairobi, Iyuen, Nairobi Hospital. So we can say that this doctor is in Nairobi Hospital. So we will say, Ishan zai nar, Ishan zai Nairobi, Iyuen. The doctor is in Nairobi Hospital. Uh -huh. How about if I want to ask you, where do you work? How will I ask? Ni. Ni zai nar gong zuo. Remember, gong zuo is work or to work. So I'll ask you, you, in where work? So, ni zai nar gong zuo. 
where do you work? So let's assume you work in a company like Safaricom, Safaricom company. How are you going to say? Wo zai Safaricom Gungsi. Now to remind you, Gungsi is company. So you will say, Wo zai Safaricom Gungsi Gungzo. So I at Safaricom company working. So I work in Safaricom company. So you need zai na Gungzo. Wo zai Safaricom Gungsi Gungzo. Wo zai Safaricom Gungsi Gungzo. How about you are a student? And you want to be, and somebody asks you, where do you study? Where do you study? So somebody asks, Ni zai na suesi. Remember, suesi is to study. So, ni zai na suesi. Where do you study? Let's assume you study in the University of Nairobi. So remember, what is university? Da shue. So you're going to say, Wo zai. Do you know the structure? Wo zai nei luo bi da sui sui si. So I at Nairobi University studying. How about if you study in Kenyatta University? You'll say Wo zai Kenyatta da sui sui si. Mm -hmm. But where do you study Chinese language? So let's see that question. Ni zai nar sui si han yu. Don't forget that we are learning han yu Chinese language. So, ni zai nar sui si han yu. Where do you study Chinese language? Wo zai. So today I remind you our name in Chinese. The Discovery Chinese Cultural Center is called Kenya Zhongguo Wenhua Jiao Liu Jungxin. What does that mean? Kenya, Kenya, Zhongguo, China, Wenhua, Culture, Jiaolio, Communication, and Jungxin is Center. So if you want to say, I study Chinese language at Discovery Chinese Cultural Center, how will you say? Wo zai, Kenya, Zhongguo, Wenhua, Jiaolio, Jungxin, Sui Si, Han Yu. So you are ending all the time with the activity. And the activity here is Suesi, and then what 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 are you studying? Han Yu. Or you can simply say if you find the name so long for you, you can say Wo Zai Discovery Chinese Suesi Han Yu. So what are we learning? Whenever you want to say that you are in a certain place or you are in a certain place doing something in Chinese, you must always use the word Zai. Then after the word zai, it must be followed by a place word, which is zai, zai nar, and then the nar is the place word, so we replace it with places like Nairobi, Nairobi, Jungwo, China, or the table, Juozu, or the chair, Yizu. Okay, so to end this, I'll remind you that we have the important phrase zai nar at where and i have given you sentences like xiao mao zai nar xiao mao zai yi zi xiang mian xiao gou zai nar xiao gou zai jia wai mian yi shang zai nar yi shang zai yi yuan how about where do you work ni zai nar gong zuo and you can answer that question ni zai nar xue xi han yu you can as well answer that question. I hope you liked my lesson. If you would like to learn more, I'm going to put my link down here and you're going to click on that link and we are going to have more conversation on how you can join one of our classes. We'd love to hear from you. You're much welcome at Discovery Chinese Cultural Center. And for today, Zai Jian. Goodbye.